confusion over the new parking in downtown Beaver Falls. The town recently redid the parking spaces along the main road, and now people have to back their cars in at an angle. Bob Allen's live to explain why it's presenting a bit of a challenge. Bob. Well, as you can see behind me, parts of 7th Avenue here in Beaver Falls are empty. People are finding other places to park because they just aren't happy with the new rules, which have now been in effect for a few weeks. It's the new normal in downtown Beaver Falls. Drivers have to back into a space when they park on 7th Avenue. Some are already calling it the new nightmare. There has been a ground, ground swell of negativity around here. When you're backing up, it seems like I'm always near this pole, you know, worry about hitting it. And uh, no, I just think this is bad news. In the past, drivers pulled in head first. That's now illegal, although some refused to break old habits. Fortunately, no one was coming when this driver tried to back out. One resident blames the new parking configuration on the city of Beaver Falls and PennDOT. The reason it's this way is because the city agreed to get money and funds from the state mm -hmm. if they put it this way. People are going to back up, they're going to hit the trees, they're going to hit the poles, they're going to hit the light pole. Uh, so I don't think it's a good idea. In the meantime, drivers are trying to adjust. But backing and staying between the white lines can be a challenge, and that's not the only one. It's hard to find the line. Yeah, and I missed it already. Problem with seeing the lines mm -hmm. when I'm backing up. I had to adjust my rearview mirror. In addition to the new parking lines, Beaver Falls has new bike lanes. No one seems to be happy about that either. It says it's supposed to boom business, but then a bike lane. I haven't seen nobody on a bike yet. Now, since today is a holiday, no one was available in the Beaver Falls Municipal Building to answer any of my questions. But uh, one business owner said he's confident that drivers will eventually adjust. Reporting live in Beaver Falls, Bob Allen, KDKA News.